We have studied division and factorization of lower order polynomials, but we cannot use the same method for higher order polynomials. Instead, we use the synthetic division process. The reason why this is important is because it can be used for two things. It can be used for division as well as factorization of polynomials. This method is very interesting. But before we move on to it, let's understand a very simple example of division using the traditional technique. Let's say we want to divide x squared plus 5x plus 7 by x plus 2. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. We write the dividend x squared plus 5x plus 7 here and divide it by the divisor x plus 2. We divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get x as the first term of the quotient. In the next step, we multiply x with x plus 2 and write x squared plus 2x here. Subtracting the product we got here from the dividend, we get 3x plus 7. Dividing 3x by x, we get 3 as the second term of our quotient. To write the product here, we multiply 3 with the divisor. We get 3x plus 6 as the product. Subtracting it from 3x plus 7, we get 1 as a remainder. As the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor, we can stop here. Now we write the dividend as divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. The dividend is x squared plus 5x plus 7. The divisor is x plus 2 and the quotient is x plus 3. The dividend can then be written as x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 plus 1. In the last step, you should check this answer. Next, we will solve the same problem using synthetic division.